Is it a slider? Is it a new pitch? What is it? There's the pitch. That sweeper. And he gets a swing and a miss and a strikeout. Well, it's just playing with the slider. They're, they're, the game is constantly evolving. Here's the sweeper and a good one. Yeah, and it's a different pitch than a slider. Really good at inducing weak contact. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. It is nasty. Good pitch there. A sweeper from Wheeler. This sweeper has been devastating all night long. <laughs> Adam Adovino with the Mets and the sweeper. You know what? It only came into our lexicon a year or two ago. But, Adam, this has been thrown for quite some time, and you've been doing it. Yeah, growing up, uh, th honestly, this is the pitch that I loved watching from some of my favorite pitchers, David Cohn, El Duque, Jeff Nelson. Obviously, those are all Yankees, the guys I grew up watching. But the whole idea behind this pitch is just to make it move right to left as much as possible. You're trying to create a side spin on the ball. Um, a lot of people are capable of doing this, and that's why all of a sudden the usage has jumped up across the league. Everywhere you look, people are throwing a sweeper. But, you know, we used to call it a slurve back in the day, and it's, that's kind of what it is to me. It's a sideways curveball, big break, but from right to left. Yeah, you know, th this pitch is, is difficult because it gives you a different illusion where the slurve, so to speak, almost kind of pops up out of the pitcher's hand, and it starts still out over the dish where – the sweeper has become difficult because it almost gives that illusion to start behind you as a hitter. So especially from a right-handed standpoint, when you see that pitch start behind you, immediately your brain tells you shut down. So the difference for me between the sweeper, the slurve, and the slider is those other pitches give you a little bit more time to recognize them and, and make the decision on, hey, I can get to that pitch where a good sweeper, it almost out of the hand locks you up. And, you know, I, yeah, I, unfortunately, I, mean, I was a victim of, of the Ottavino <laughs> sweeper a couple times in my career. This is the type of thing you're trying to create as a righty versus a righty. A little bit of fear, a little bit of doubt so that you can dive in over the plate, trying to start the pitch right at the guy's hip and let it break over a little bit. <laughs> here, here you go, watching me try to, try to lay off of it. And, you know, I like to tell myself pretty good takes right there, but, but more so just so nasty and I picked it up and recognized it late. But, I mean, you know, three in a row, I remember that at bat, not a fun at bat at all. I thought it was a ball, great pitch, <laughs> but, but uh, th this is what you get. We, we had a lot of battles, a, a lot of uh, uh, great matches over the years, but like I said, Adam Adovino, one of the best sweepers that I saw, and, and again, for everybody at home, I, I had a chance to face him for years. You take those rollover hits, that's what you're trying to do as a hitter. I know facing you, all I was trying to do is make contact, give myself a chance, but that's what you get with that pitch. It's a little bit slower than your traditional slider, uh, and, and you're getting a lot of soft contact, a lot of balls like that that you saw. So I think it's an effective pitch. It does give you a chance as a hitter to make a little bit of adjustment now because guys are understanding that it's coming back into the game. So I'm sure you'll see that trend kind of go back and forth between what's used a little bit more, but definitely a good pitch. Yeah, I liked it back in the day when guys didn't know that it was a sweeper. <laughs> so they get in there thinking they're going to get a traditional slider and then it's a lot bigger than that. But nowadays, they know exactly how much it moves before it comes in, so they can uh, have a little easier you, expectation. You made me uh, very aware that I had to do some work and understand how to hit the sweeper a little bit better. Like Justin Turner, what I did was, Albert Pujols told me, get a little closer to the plate. Guys that have that sweeper, get closer to the plate because it takes their visual away. They want to have a lot more room to work with. So what I did is, finally, after years of being victimized, by, by Romo, finally in the playoffs 2019, I made an adjustment, got one that didn't quite do much, backed up a little bit, and finally I was able to take advantage of that sweeper. But man, he had a lot of success against me. I finally was able to get him in a big moment. Uh, but that pitch is a pitch that I, I think a lot of guys will pick up, uh, will try to continue to make better, could try to make it their own, and a pitch that we'll see around the league for years to come. Yeah, if you thought you saw a lot this year, you're gonna see even more in this next season coming up.